Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students, welcome to the class again. So today, in continuation to the previous class where we have uh, tried to solve so many examples related to the electrocyclic reactions. So again, we will see some more examples where electrocyclic reactions or electrocyclic uh, pericyclic reactions are involved in the synthesis of fused systems, fused cyclic systems. Okay. So we are now trying the uh, problem solving in the electrocyclic reactions and it is a continuation class to the previous class where we have seen in the previous class the synthesis of vitamin D3 so in the human body from the pre-vitamin D3. So because of the electrocyclic reactions and some also some other uh, pericyclic reactions happening. A system like this where 4 pi bonds are there that means 8 pi electrons are involved here and it falls under the category 4n pi electron system okay and now if there is a substituent at the terminal carbon atom let's say it is a methyl group okay so this on photochemical reaction that is an irradiation or under the thermal condition, you should be able to synthesize a bicyclic product like this. Okay. So the stereochemistry of the methyl groups as well as the hydrogens at the fused junction, so it depends upon the reaction condition you are going to use. Let us say both the hydrogens here are cis to each other while the methyl groups are trans to each other. So that is one is below the plane and the other is above the plane. So now the question is you need to identify how this particular uh, reactant molecule is getting transformed into the bicyclic system. First thing I would like to suggest to you is see how the substituents or groups at the terminal carbon atoms are facing each other. So this is the methyl group facing this direction and this is also the methyl group facing in the same direction. So when the groups or atoms are facing in the same direction and your product is showing them in the opposite direction. So that means you need to recollect now. Same side groups on con rotation is going to be seen in the same side in the product as well. So same side groups if you perform the this mode of rotation that means one is in the clockwise and the other is in the anti-clockwise direction then the groups which are same side in the reactant will be seen as groups which are in the opposite sides in the product right. So that means for the conversion of this to this in the initial step what has happened here means a this mode of rotation is performed. Now again recollect the Woodward uh, Hoffman rules. So for 4N electron system under thermal conditions con mode is allowed under photochemical conditions this mode is allowed. Am I correct? And for 4N plus 2 pi electron systems this mode is allowed under thermal conditions whereas con mode is allowed under photochemical conditions. So now based on that so this mode if you are performing so for an 8 pi electron system which falls under the category 4n pi electron system you need to 
choose the reaction condition as H nu. That means you need to irradiate this reactant molecule so as to go for the disc mode of uh, rotations and then get the product of that stereochemistry. So in the first instance, what is going to happen means, so this is moving this way and then one of the pi bond is converted into a sigma bond between the terminal carbon atoms. So this is the newly formed sigma bond in the electrocyclic reaction and the pi bonds are seen here. Now what has happened? These two methyl groups are in the same direction but when you perform the disc mode of interaction, so you will be seeing them in the opposite direction. So CH3 and CH3. So this is the product which you have got. But how does this transform into the bicyclic one is the question now. So it has a capacity to undergo one more electrocyclic reaction because there are still six number of pi electrons and it acts as now a 4n plus 2 pi electron system. For a 2 pi electron system here, if you see the orientation of the hydrogens at the terminal carbon atoms, what is happening here? The hydrogens are seen opposite to each other. These hydrogens are seen opposite to each other, right? So, but in the product after the formation of the fused ring, what you can see is the hydrogens are on the cis uh, interaction, cis mode of orientation. So, how does it happen means again when the groups are on opposite side and you need them on the same side, what you need to do? This mode of interaction, this rotatory mode of reaction. So, same side groups. on con mode of rotation in the product also you will see in the same side. So same side groups are there and on this mode of interaction you will see them in the opposite side. Opposite side uh, groups on con mode of interaction you will see opposite side only in the product as well. So opposite side of groups on this mode of interaction you will see them in the same side on the product. So that is also discussed in the previous class. So now perform one more this mode of rotation. So for a 4 and pi electron system where the this mode is allowed you go back to this. So this is the 4 and plus 2 pi electron system and this mode is allowed under thermal conditions. That means the reaction condition is thermal where you will be able to perform the disrotations and therefore one of the pi bond gets converted into the sigma bond and then these pi bonds will change their position resulting in the formation of the product. Okay. So this is one of the finest and simplest example for the formation of a fused ring system with the help of electrocyclic reactions. So now look at this example. So this is an bicyclic system where you can see the hydrogens facing opposite to each other. So this falls under 4 and pi electron system. So for a 4 and pi electron system, so under thermal conditions, what kind of product or what kind of stereochemistry you can see here is the question. Okay. So you can see the thermal conditions as well as the photochemical conditions. So for 4 and pi electron system under thermal conditions con mode is allowed. So what is going to happen here means as it is a 4 and uh, electron system. So one of the pi bond transforms into the sigma bond while the other pi bond shifts over here. So you will be getting a fused system like this, 
right now the question is what happens to the orientation of these hydrogens so as they are seen opposite to each other and on performing the con mode of rotations they still will be seen opposite to each other that is one is above the plane and the other appears below the plane whereas for the same system if you irradiate continuously it undergoes disrotatory process and then gives you the similar product but the orientation of hydrogens is cis to each other. So under photochemical conditions you can see this product under thermal conditions you can see this product. So this reaction involves 4 electrons only, 4 pi electrons. A similar kind of reaction is also shown by trans stilbene. So trans stilbene So this is a trans stilbin molecule. So what happens under photochemical conditions? So if you irradiate the trans stilbin molecule, the first thing what would happen here is the trans stilbin transforms to cis stilbin. So what happens first on irradiation is the trans stilbin transforms to cis stilbin like this this is cis stilbin if you continue the irradiation or if you prolong the irradiation here what happens here is it follows the electrocyclization process and then gives you a fused system like this a fused system like this which is called as dihydrophenanthrene which is called as dihydrophenanthrene so what is happening here means though it is having so many number of pi bonds so it is actually capable of using only these three pi bonds for the electrocyclization process so as a result of which it acts as a 4n plus 2 pi electron system because the total number of electrons involved in the cyclic transition state is only 6 pi electrons. So it acts as a 4n plus 2 pi electron system and therefore it transforms into this one. So what is the condition here you are uh, adopting? So you are irradiating. So for a 4n plus 2 pi electron system under photochemical condition what is going to be the allowed rotation mode it is con rotation mode okay. So with the con rotations so you will be able to see the product. Now the question is what happens to the hydrogens on the terminal carbon atoms here. So they are facing opposite to each other. So when the groups or atoms are opposite at the terminal carbon atoms and if you perform con mode of rotation the same kind of property that is the groups will be seen also opposite to each other in the product. That means one of the hydrogen will be below the plane while the other hydrogen will be above the plane. So the product is dihydrophenanthrene, dihydrophenanthrene. So look at this molecule it is very interesting. So this is the molecule. So this particular molecule when subjected to electrocyclic reactions gives a different uh, isomer in the thermal condition and also a different isomer in the photochemical condition. So please address this. Okay. So why you are able to see 
a different isomers or different type of fused ring systems on thermal condition and also on the photochemical condition is the question. So, though it is having uh, 8 uh, pi bonds, so it can only act as 2 numbers of 6 pi electron systems. Okay. So, this is one uh, entirely separate uh, 6 pi electron system and this is also 6 pi electron system. That means, this acts as an individual 4n plus 2 pi system and also this acts as an individual 4n plus 2 pi electron system. So, because of which you can see in the beginning for if you perform the thermal uh, conditions, if you perform this reaction in the thermal condition, what is going to happen? So, for 4n plus 2 pi electron system, this mode of rotation is allowed under thermal conditions. This is allowed under thermal conditions, right. So, the product will look like a fused ring system. So, this is the basic skeleton of the product. So, what you are going to see, how it is happening? This is like this and this like this. So, therefore, you will be able to see this here, right. What is the status of the hydrogens here is the question now. So, if you see these hydrogens are opposite to each other. So, when they are opposite to each other and still if you perform the disrotatory mode here, so what happens is they will be seen in the same side. That means, a cis relationship is being observed here, okay. Similarly, the hydrogens here will also be seen in the same side like this. So, the product here after this disrotatory reaction under thermal conditions is a cis fused system, cis fused six membered ring system. Whereas, if you perform the same reaction under photochemical conditions for a 4n plus 2 pi electron system under photochemical condition con rotatory mode is allowed, right. So, you have to do the con rotations here. So, the product is again a fused system for sure, but the orientation of hydrogens you have to carefully observe here. So, what is happening here? You are performing the con rotations here and the hydrogens on both the sides are opposite to each other. So, the same uh, pattern is retained here that means So, you will be able to see a trans fused six membered ring systems, right. So, here these two hydrogens are trans to each other and these two hydrogens are trans to each other and these two hydrogens are also trans to each other and these two are also trans to each other. So, that is why you will be getting a trans fused system on photochemical irradiation uh, with con rotatory mode. Whereas, you will be getting a cis fused ring system under thermal conditions because of the disrotatory mode, okay. So, if you see the one formyl benzocyclobutane, so one formyl benzocyclobutane, so this is a peculiar one. So, that means this is the benzene ring. So, this is the cyclobutane and you have a formyl group here, right. So, this is one formyl benzocyclobutane. So, this one formyl benzocyclobutane under thermal conditions. So, if you subject it to the thermal conditions, so it goes for the ring opening reaction, okay. So, how does the ring open here is the most important thing. 
So now the ring opens here such that the molecule shows this. So what is happening here? The formyl group is forcibly or strongly opening with an inward movement. So it is bending inside. So it is moving inside. So this kind of strong tendency of a ring to open in an inward rotation is called as torco selective process. Torco selective process. So torco selective process or torco selective property is nothing but there is a strong tendency of a such, uh, certain molecule in opening the ring in the inward rotations mode. Okay. So if it is opening by inward rotations in a strong tendency mode, so then we call it as torco selective process. So then again this has a capacity to undergo one more round of electrocyclic uh, reactions resulting in the formation of a bicyclic molecule. How it is going to happen? So you will be able to see the Piran derivative as the final product because of the electrocyclic ring opening in the first step and thereafter electrocyclic ring closure in the second step. So torco selectivity is nothing but the strong tendency for the ring opening by inward rotations. So which is undergoing the inward rotation here means formyl group is undergoing the inward rotation here. So when you see a similar type of example, so this is an orthobenzyl benzophenone. So this is an orthobenzyl benzophenone. So this orthobenzyl benzophenone initially undergoes gamma hydrogen abstraction. So it undergoes what first gamma hydrogen abstraction. So where is the hydrogen? It is on the gamma position. So this is the carbonyl group. This is the alpha carbon atom beta carbon atom and this is the gamma carbon atom. The hydrogen attached to the gamma carbon atom is initially abstracted by this oxygen via an electrocyclic process. So how it is happening means like this. So after gamma hydrogen abstraction, you will be able to see the product pH or OH pH there is a double bond here and there is one more double bond here and there is a pH here right. So under thermal conditions so what is going to happen is this again undergoes one more electrocyclic reaction right con mode. So 4 and pi electron system under thermal condition con is allowed right. So con if it is allowed so what is happening so a bicyclic or fused ring system is going to be seen here. So the question is the phenyl groups how they are oriented. So they are on the same side right. So when the groups are on the same side and you still perform con rotations. So in the product also the groups will be seen on the same side. So when you get the fused ring system like this. So the both the phenyl uh, groups will be seen on the same side OH is there okay. So you will be able to see cis diphenyl hydroxy benzocyclobutane you will be able to see cis diphenyl hydroxy benzo cyclobutane okay so but if you subject this one for prolonged irradiation prolonged irradiation means what so you will be irradiating the molecule with the light radiations so for a prolonged time so for a 4n electron system 
if you irradiate it with light, so what is the mode, rotator mode, you will be seeing, if you irradiate it, you will be able to see disrotations happening during the ring closure. So as a result of which, you will be seeing the trans H and pH. So trans diphenyl hydroxybenzocyclobutane is seen when you irradiate the system uh, because it undergoes the disrotation mode whereas when you subject it to thermal uh, conditions so uh, it undergoes controtations as well as it gives you the cis diphenyl hydroxy benzocyclobutane. So there are certain more examples which are very important for appearing in the competitive exams and I will strongly recommend you to uh, observe all the textbooks and try to solve the problems and if you have any issues, so let us discuss and then uh, clear the doubts. Thank you so much.